So the coronavirus is taking over the world. And Manchester United definitely won't be playing again until the 3rd of April, although I think it's going to be a little bit later than that. So that gives us the opportunity to take a step back and ask bigger questions facing United. And Paul Pogba's future is certainly one of the biggest. Should United keep him or should United sell him this summer? What I'm going to do in this video is run through a few reasons why we could keep him and why we could sell him. And I'm going to give my opinion at the end. And as always, I want to know your opinions in the comments below. So this video is all about Paul Pogba, but what I want from you in the comments as well, before we begin, let me know any other videos you'd like me to cover in the next few weeks. There's going to be plenty of time to talk about anything. So let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see during this mass world isolation. But let's talk about Paul Pogba and his future at United. The first point to make is really obvious and all of you know it. Paul Pogba's quality. He is one of the best players at Manchester United and one of the only truly world-class players at the club. If we really do have ambitions to get back and chase down Liverpool and City for Premier League titles, then you can't let a player like Paul Pogba go. And imagine a midfield three of Pogba, Bruno Fernandes and McTominay or Fred. That would be one of the best midfields we've had in the last decade. Why would you split that up by letting Pogba go? And look how good Pogba was at the start of Solskjaer's reign. Those three months, he was Europe's informed player. Solskjaer can get the best out of Pogba, so why not wait and use all three of the players together? And maybe the arrival of Bruno Fernandes is a sort of spark that Pogba has needed. The, the sort of ambition from the club that he's been waiting for. Why would you split those up? So certainly his quality and what Bruno can add to Pogba's game by being in the team, that's certainly a reason to keep him. And another reason you could add is maybe the message that it would send out by selling Paul Pogba. If United, as I said, really are ambitious enough to get back to the top of the Premier League, then how does selling Pogba match that sort of ambition? I think Pogba has every right to feel aggrieved that United haven't really matched his ambition as a World Cup winner since he rejoined the club. And I slammed Wayne Rooney for it with Fergie and I always backed Fergie's corner back when Rooney questioned the ambitions of the club, but maybe he was right then, and maybe Pogba was right to feel aggrieved now. But the arrivals of Bruno Fernandes, the arrivals of Harry Maguire, of wan of the, you can see the spine of the team being built now. Maybe United finally are showing that ambition that they just haven't in previous years. And I think one of the biggest reasons for keeping Paul Pogba is the idea of his replacement. United failed to properly replace Ronaldo, Vidic, Ferdinand, Scholes. It's got to be the biggest worry for United fans that Paul Popper is sold in the summer and the Glazers and United don't give Solskjaer the funds for the, for the right replacement. And United could then be left in a situation where Paul Popper leaves and we don't replace him. How would that be a better situation for the club? Surely it would be better to back Pogba. Solskjaer wants him to be here next year. He's already said on record he thinks he will be. But surely if we're not going to sign a replacement, then keeping Pogba is the right thing for United to do. But as many reasons as you can give for keeping Paul Pogba, there are reasons you can give for selling Paul Pogba. And again, just as obvious as the quality was the main reason to keep him, the circus that surrounds Paul Pogba is the main reason to sell him. I'm going to go on record here by saying I fucking hate Mino Raiola. You hate him too. He is the blood-sucking leech. The agent that some players want to represent them because... He will do anything to get what he feels is right for the player and for him himself. And that sideshow will never leave so long as Pogba is at the club. And his brothers fuel the fire as well. An interview recently, I think, with one of his brothers saying, oh, I'd love to see Paul Pogba play for Real Madrid. Knows exactly what he is doing and it fuels the fire. And United fans are sick and tired of the Raiola freak show. And that won't ever go away while Paul Pogba is at the club. Now, would it be better for United to move on without that sort of baggage that comes with Paul Pogba? That's something that a lot of fans feel, that just getting rid of Paul Pogba and more importantly, getting rid of Minamariola is important for the cultural reset that United and Solskjaer is trying to do at the club at the moment. Now, if you look at if United actually did spend the money to replace Pogba, we could get loads for Pogba and it could be the sort of main funds that we get for the summer for a big, big spend. And United need to spend big. Clearly, we need at least three major signings, I think. And that's without Paul Pogba leaving. If he leaves, four or five maybe. 
but maybe Paul Pogba leaving is going to be how United get the funds to create the team that either Solskjaer or somebody else takes forward next year. If we did properly replace Pogba, maybe the club would be in a better position overall to move forward. Now, one thing I do want to say before I move on to my opinion overall about whether I think Pogba should be sold or kept is I th people will say that Pogba hasn't been good enough. And I think that's because the expectations of Pogba, who is a top level player, a World Cup winner, you expect him week in, week out to influence the game in the same sort of level that Bruno Fernandes is doing at the moment. And the fact that Bruno's done that as soon as he's come to a club in a new country shows it can be done. But I do think people have been slightly unfair and judging Paul Pogba a bit differently to other players. I think other players get away with it a little bit more than Pogba. And maybe that's a consequence of just being in the limelight, of being Paul Pogba. But I think everyone's been a little bit harsh there because I think he had more goals and assists than he's ever done in his career last season. I think he's judged a little bit too harshly. But in terms of whether I think Paul Pogba should be kept or sold, it's really hard because I'm definitely torn because I would prefer to sell Pogba if we replaced him properly, but I can't trust United to do that. He was glorious for those three months at the start of Solskjaer's reign, but the, his United career has been littered with inconsistencies. But of a player of Pogba's standard, the expectations are there that he's going to reach that top level. And what the best players in the world do is they deliver under that sort of pressure. Sometimes Pogba has, but a lot of the times, the games have passed Paul Pogba by. And that's why so many players have, have sort of frustrated beyond belief with Paul Pogba because they know what he can do in every game. I don't personally agree with the, with the, what is it? The narrative, I suppose, that Paul Pogba's a bad influence. I don't think that's fair at all. Mourinho is the only one who's ever said he is a bad influence. Any other player or coach that's worked with him loves him. And he saw how much of an influence he was in that French World Cup winning team. But I would personally prefer to sell Paul Pogba if we did replace him properly. It just hasn't worked out. For one reason or another, injuries certainly haven't helped this season. But Pogba, I love him as a footballer. But I think if United, it goes to show like with Fernandes, with, with Maguire, with Wan-Bissaka, that the right recruitment and the right players are far more important than just the overall quality of the individual. Although Bruno Fernandes is absolutely sensational. We're building a team. And if Paul Pogba wants to be a big part of that, and Solskjaer wants him to be a big part of that, and he knuckles down and uses his talent correctly, then maybe him staying is the best thing to do. Maybe we can push all this to one side and from now on we're going to see the, the Paul Pogba we thought we are going to have from day one. But it's such a confusing situation with Paul Pogba and it's why it's such a, a tough debate because there are justifications in my opinion, to sell him. And there are justifications as well to keep him. So I want to know in the comments from you, where do you stand on this situation? Should United sell Pogba or should United keep Pogba? Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see United do. And as I said before the video, if there are any other video ideas that you'd like in the next few weeks, make sure you comment below with them as well. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.